Hello, nice Thursday. Yesterday I was sick, but now now I'm perhaps quite okay. Yes, economic life. I translate this. Talouselämä magazine. Uh, yesterday published this news that you should be careful if you travel to places that are normally Finnish in the taste of Finnish people. They say here yeah, that bad hygiene may lead you to catch the corona, novel corona flu. So the problem here is that you should always take care of good personal hygiene, whatever the reason, what, what the, whatever the stage is in the world. Nothing new there, so to speak. But the point here is perhaps this is directed towards those that are perhaps a little bit sick themselves at the start, or they have children that have asthma or some other conditions that lowers the immune system, that uh, there are these cities that may have hospitals that have an opportunity to take care of 30 people that have pneumonia, but no more. So if there are about 100, 100 tourists there, that perhaps have a flu-like symptoms and need the machine that gives you oxygen, it's not possible. So, if you're, if you are not healthy enough, you should consider: Are you willing to go to places that have have not that kind of equi- equipments to treat you? If you ca- catch the whatever the flu there is. And that's something from real life without the fear mongering. Mm. From China, from 10 cities have traveled to Bangkok 1.2 1.2 million persons. I'm a Finnish Finnish person. That's a bit too much for my my brains to understand. It says here that Thailand and Turkey is perhaps. Uh, Altita. Sorry, I have to check what that. Al. This. Exposed, vulnerable, for these kinds of, kinds of epidemics, here. Like novel coronavirus. Oh, <laughs> the the word was there. Uh, so-called infectious diseases vulnerability index gives you the possibilities or the idea of what are those possibilities and it's uh, here I shall put it as I said before under this video's description you may look it yourself Identifying future disease hotspots. You read it yourself. I I am so bad at speaking in English. Okay, and the other interesting news that are only from Finland, but still interesting. So we are ha- having strikes right right now a lot here in Finland because we have these. Uh, Employment, employers, 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 employers that think that they the money they have at month uh, around thirty to eighty thousand euros per month is is not enough for them, but at the same time they think that nurses 
when they have around 1200 euros a month is too much so they want to cut those money off uh, electricity is going up uh, food prices taking care of yourself prices going up uh, taking care of your child's education and health all those prices are going up and still those people that are high 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 up things that nurses and uh, teachers and those who delivers the posts are getting too much money which is around 2500 euros ah so those who are working are, are making strike towards those who think that the the money is too much for them Uh, they are thinking that they let this idea be outside of these strikes. And the reason is that idea is one of those, the most important delivers that gives China the tests what they need to test the novel coronavirus. Um, just the last few days they have trans, 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 I lost my word. Delivered, delivered, shipped. To China millions of these tests test kits uh, and um, to Hubei they have test machines that with you may ha have the CRB to be known so there are tens of thousands of those and tens of millions of tests uh, to know it says here to know does this person have this novel coronavirus is co time con consuming process and uh, it's normally is not able to do everywhere you would like to with these tests, it says the Himberg here, it's possible. So the reason here is that they are not going face face their strikes here. But I hope their people are, are going still to have the money they earn from their jobs. That's that. I put this down the video's description that and um, Amnesty International has said about their concerns about how these things affects human rights and there are a lot of them of course the right to health I don't want to say the stories that I have heard from that one that have heard from what that have heard, but I I guess you have an op, uh, uh, ability to search those stories for yourselves. The censorship continues today. Activists harassed and intimidated. Yes. Uh, fake news is big problem because nobody trusts those people that want to share the, the real information because there are so much fake news that's true oh. 
True, true. I put this down this and then we go to have this. Again. When I was a child, I were in 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 Canary Islands and I was sick all the time. I I remember nothing good from that trip. So Canary Islands has one. Finland has one. Uh, the person who is in Finland, let's have a look, is well now, it's fine now, and uh, 34 cases that had to be checked, that has been cl in close contact with this person. Uh, not all uh, are known, but everything seems fine right now. The graphics does not look that good, but the total recovery number do, looks good. Yes. Um, so let's put it in the smaller text. If you are not in good condition, you have some asthma or heart ha heart problems or such or you are catching flu normal flu common cold uh might be good idea not to travel to places that has this kind of novel coronaviruses there uh the reason is that you give those hospitals the freedom to take care of their own patients just a suggestion and uh, using face masks uh, everybody should calm down and only use face masks if you are yourself uh, sick or to give those face masks to hospitals and such who take care of sick people. If you are healthy people without no symptoms, don't use face masks. Uh, wash your hands, don't touch your face. Uh, use sanitizers. T keep them all the time in your pocket. And... Uh, Eat healthy food, wash your vegetables, uh, have a healthy amount of sleep, and uh, that's that. Take care of yourselves. Make our world a better place, and don't spread false information. See ya, bye.